what is going on my dudes and dudettes it's Sean you with SNS Serpentarium I'm chilling with my um, my male Damarals ball right now he's looking gorgeous as ever look at him really gonna miss this, this boy when I brew mate him um, he'll be having his last meal today which is what's the date today oh, uh, August 21st um, I won't be uploading this video for a while I like to um, record a whole slew of videos in advance so that when I go back to uni I can keep uploading daily let's just get straight into it then guys today we're gonna talk about record keeping I personally think this is a quite important aspect of the hobby especially if you're breeding there are a number of things you should be keeping record, record of uh, with regards to your snake. Things that I personally um, think is a good idea to keep a record of isn't what I necessarily keep a record of myself though. Um, people uh, sometimes overdo record keeping. Um, record keeping is uh, really useful, especially if you've uh, if you at some point develop problems in your um, in your collection. It can be useful to pinpoint where the problem started and maybe any any particular change that you did that time that may have caused the problem there. So it is really useful um, when you are keeping your animals to record keep. Uh, Record keeping as well is um it's a little bit monotonous. Um, it can be a bit boring as I as I just said. It's uh it's a bit tedious and that's why I don't tend to do a lot of it. Um, I tend to just try to remember as much as I can. Nothing is really going wrong here either. Um, things tend to run like clockwork up here, so there's no no real need for me to do it. I do have snakes to fast a lot, like royals. Um, I don't. I don't even keep track of how long they fasted for, really. Um, I don't see the point in it. They'll stop fasting when they stop, and there's there's nothing I can do that'll change that. Certainly, worrying about it isn't going to make them come out of their fast any sooner. So I don't see the point in in doing it. Things that are just a good idea to keep records of, though, is feeding records. Um, so when they last fed. You just jot down, you know, what they had on what date, um, and then you can keep records of when they've pooped, when they've shed, uh, their weight, um, do that on like a monthly basis, their weight, um, you know, sort of their length as well if you want to do that, it's completely up to you, you can chart it all out, um, it can be quite useful, especially if you've only got a small collection of maybe one or two snakes, but when you've got, you know, the amount of snakes I've got, it's really not practical um, it's not if I were to you know write down every single snake when they last at um, when they pooped when they shared how much they weigh every month how how long they are every month you know I, I'd be I'd, I'd just be writing constantly it'd be a nightmare so the only record keeping I like to do really is I do the occasional weight check um, especially when they're fasting um i don't really check length at all ever really i just sort of look at them and, and estimate um there's, there's no real need i don't think to, to check the length other than saying oh you know my snake is this big how big is your snake you know sort of um snake measuring <laughs> yeah so i i don't really bother with any of that um i do uh you know notice and remember if a snake hasn't eaten for a couple of weeks and i just make a mental note of that um, and just keep track of of their weight if they start losing weight rapidly then i'll obviously take them to the vets um i do keep rough rough estimates in my head of when they lost they've lost eaten and I, I do have quite a good memory so that doesn't necessarily apply to everyone Record keeping for babies is really important as well. Um, if you're buying a baby, it's nice to see the records. Um, I personally don't keep them. I just I just note when they last fed, um, and I th I think that's sufficient really and what they fed on. The reason I don't keep a massive record of when they fed is because people don't don't really look at them a lot of the times. Um, you you put a lot of effort into writing all this information down for people to just throw in the bin when you give it to them, and it seems a bit pointless then. So, 
it's up to you if you want to keep records guys i mean it doesn't hurt it, it probably you know it's probably a good idea um it's not something i personally have time for um like i said i just i just sort of uh, remember when everything last eaten um and i, I do their weights and then what i do is i just take a photo on my phone so then i've got a you know a track then of um how much each snake weighs then throughout the time i've had it you know over a period of months years and as time goes on you know just keeps building up and up and up and that's what i like to do if a snake's weight is slowly going up then it's obviously healthy and that's all i really care about um obviously you don't want it obese or anything like that um, but you just take a look at your snake does he look healthy you know this snake obviously he's glowing he's looking absolutely amazing and um, he's active as you can see he's nice and strong yeah so he's obviously a healthy snake so there's no need for me to worry um, if there's something wrong with your snake as well I definitely recommend taking a more detailed approach with um, with record keeping um, and obviously you need to get to the vets and show the vets that report ASAP um, but that's all I can really talk about for this topic guys on record keeping it's a little bit boring to talk about any longer than what I actually have um, if you made it this far then what are you doing this is a boring video go watch something else <laughs> Now, if you made it this far, make sure you drop us a like, subscribe if you're new, smash that notifications bell, like it's no one's business. If you record keep, make sure you tell me in the comments below what you uh, what you like to take note of yourself. And if you like this gorgeous Dumerals, just let me know, um, and I'll uh, I'll tell him you fancy him. <laughs> he does like a good compliment. He's a bit needy, this boy. He gets upset if he uh, doesn't get called beautiful quite often. So um, thanks for watching as always guys and I'll see you in the next one.